and his opponent. From Kansas City, weighing 197 pounds, the reigning, defending, Gateway Heritage Champion, the Monarch, Jeremy Lyon. Jeremy Lyon showing that this match is all about that everybody wants to be a heritage champion. Under pure rules, you each have three rope breaks. After you play rope breaks, you have no more. No close fits. First one's a warning. Second one is qualification. The bell can't cheat dance. Disqualification. Go back down now. You have 20 count on the outside. But the best man win. Best stick man in the business right there. Referee Nick Chin. Early explaining the rules. Just kidding. Showing the championship bell to Fred Yehai. There it is. That's what it's all about. Fred Yehai, what you're going to see in this matchup is an unorthodox technical wrestler. This guy is a master of point manipulation. He stomps. On, on, I, it, you're just going to have to watch it to appreciate how magnificent of a wrestler Fred Yehai is. There we go. Hello, Sounder. We are underway for this Gateway Heritage Championship. No surprise how we're starting here. Like we said, this is going to be a technical masterclass. Wyatt with the overhand top of the slot. Fred's yay. Yeah, transitions into a first round. Wow. Diving for the ankle. Put himself into a hammer lock to then escape and do a single leg back. Heel trim is incredible. And now Yehai, look at the intensity. Every movement counts. Wrenching in that spinning toe. Just constant movement, constant movement. In towards the ropes. Nope, fights away. And look how Yehai is is aware that that rope break was was about to happen and it avoids it. Shakes his hand. Oh. Said manipulating joints, manipulating body parts. He never loses contact with his opponent. He's always touching his opponent. You're absolutely right. Look at him grabbing him almost in an overly tight punch. They put him up in body slams. He leaves a push right there. And the great thing about Fred Yehaw is he is cardiovascular machine. I don't think Jeremy Wyatt is. I mean, he's wrestled a lot of great athletes. And I've seen this man go 30 minutes plus at a breakneck pace. And he is applying that path to Jeremy Wyatt here tonight. Well, like I said, it's not often that rival that anyone can rival Jeremy Wyatt. But this absolutely is one of those days. But Yehai remains on top. He takes any spot that he can and works it down. Oh, the kidneys, the ribs, everything. He just phenomenal. You damage a man's ribs like that, the ability to breathe disappears. Your cardio doesn't matter. Maybe that's the key to victory for Yehai here tonight. Almost putting his shoulders on the mat. And look at Wyatt is still got his shoulder off the mat. Just pure neck strength, using his head to lift up. And Reverend wow. was in perfect position to see it. These two men just feel each This is the early stages of this. They are feeling each other out. These guys have never wrestled. Look at Yehai going that forearm into the ear. He forces into a neck crank, puts him in front, chance to slap his suit. It's the speed and power of Yehai. It's absurd. He uses his frame to the absolute max potential that you can get out of it. He claims that 5'9 proudly because he knows how to use the most efficient way that you possibly can. And he knows that no matter what size you are, 
he will break you down to make you come down to his size or smaller. And then when we're on the mat, we're all the same size. And Fred Yehi will tap you out. Will he tap out? Jeremy Wyatt here tonight. Look at Wyatt. Disorienting Fred Yehi. He's snapping him over with that side headlock takedown. Smart wrestling, of course, by the mom. Look at the crowd intently watching. Nobody is buying drinks. Everybody is watching this matchup and stuck. Every Backs him up in the throat, shoots him off the far side. Big shoulder attack. Explosive, like you said. So explosive. Wow. Yes. I am oh, not attempt to call that, but Fred Yeh with the submission move was a version of the Indian death battle. What? Three, four, five. No. Three, four, five. I am wow. having a rope break with the Indian death battle. That could be one of the earliest I've seen in the world. I could completely be upset that he had to use that jump right back in and try to teach him a lesson. Look at Wyatt, the look on his face of intensity and just almost respect. I don't think I've ever seen Jeremy Wyatt respect someone's mad game as much as he does Yehi's tonight. Oh my god! With the look on his face when he entered the room, the look on his face now are vastly different. Yehi breaking down Jeremy Wyatt, dissecting every limb, stomping on the hand, stomping on the wrist, creating motion and movement. Wyatt, oh, snapping the wrist once again. It's the most simple technique, but very few people do it, and that is destroy the body. He takes away the body parts. He takes away everything. You can't, you can't hit someone if you've got a broken hand. You're not going to bat wrestle. When your knee is blown out. Traditional wrestling would, uh, logic would apply that you work on one body part. What makes Fred Yehi so explosive? Look at that Koji Clutch! The Koji Clutch is applied! This could be it! Wyatt might be... Wyatt trying to put him on his shoulders, but Yehi sneaks up. This is unbelievable! No! What? Jeremy Wyatt is just a second rope break within two minutes! I've never seen him use two this I've never seen him use another punch oh. directly after the Oji Clutch and Wyatt smartly tried to pin Yehi, but he created so much motion, he never stayed on his shoulders. And Yehi was aware of that. He knew that if he kept moving, he was going to be all oh my With authority, and Wyatt collapses. Yehi using his entire frame right, to throw this. The monarch into the corner of the savage way proving true here. Has him hooked up in a fisherman's buster. He's got those hands locked. Wow. Perfect legs. Bridge. Two. Oh. Wyatt kicks out. Look at this. Yehi immediately applies the body scissors. And again, again the very high the elbows up into the shoulder blades, the back. I was I think he's feeling his ear with the body scissors on. That is perfectly legal. Yehi knows that. And now look at his tribal this. My God. Yehi, I have never seen Jeremy White out wrestling. Yes. I've never seen anything contested like this. Hello, Wicked. Right. Oh, the stomps and everything. Everything Wyatt has tried. Oh, single foot drop to win the jaw. The way how good for the cover, the speed, the shot, the short first thing. Red Yehi might be the most efficient wrestler in the world. Absolutely. Crowd getting behind the savage way. Wyatt's got some fight there, though. Look at those. Wyatt has to be outdone. Uh, one thing people don't understand about Jeremy Wyatt is Jeremy Wyatt can bring it. You talk about your hard strikers, 
in wrestling. Wyatt is actually one of the most underrated strikers in the business. Yehi, trying, they're jogging for position here, trying to feed. Yeah. Wyatt comes out on top. But you never know. I mean, look at Yehi grabbing the right legs. And he, he never loses contact with the body. He never loses contact. I don't know if Wyatt has ever faced a super efficient pro wrestling as Yehi, and as he gets his neck snap. And that's where Jeremy Wyatt, the years of experience that he has over Fred Yehi, paid off it. The, the veteran experience, the ability to adapt to what he's in the ring with. A lot of the times it's simply a, just a, a numbers game where it's how long that is going to figure it out. So that means the neck down, he gets a one count. Yehi has yet to really been tested. White has one rope break left. He's a heavy. I don't believe that we've been in a scenario where it was 2 nothing. Suplex. And then Wyatt knows that he has got to drain some of the tank of Fred Yehi. Going immediately to the end. Look at Wyatt. Now he's starting to grow. He's starting to call, try to call fire that ear up even more. Work in the back. Just like Yehi did. The ability to adapt is going to be absolutely crucial for Jeremy Wyatt at this point. I mean, uh, speaking of cauliflower, you notice that the ear of Fred Yeha is cauliflower. That shows you how much nap this guy has. And he can't snap him back into that coaching wow. clutch. Back into that coaching clutch. How did he get his leg over? Why again? My God, Jordan, what a we see here tonight. He's out. If it happens again, it's over. Fred Yeha might be our new champion. Fred Yehi, he, uh, people assuming it's a foregone conclusion that Wyatt is going to win every single Kingway Heritage matchup at this point, and I think Yehi is proving that wrong. He has used Jeremy Wyatt's workouts. Jeremy Wyatt's been forced to use all three of them within the first 10, 15 minutes of this matchup. And Wyatt clearly knows that. He's upset. This is, I think we're seeing some fire in him here. I agree with you. Yeah, he bounces off that second rope and catches a back elbow. Again, using that 5'9 size to his advantage. He knows, okay, if I go low, I'm going to get the velocity coming up high. Wyatt used that to Wyatt jumping Yehi to the outside. Now he's telling referee he's going to, he wants to take a count out at this point. Gateway Heritage Championship matches are a 20 count too. On the outside, and the title can change hands with count out or disqualification. He drops him right on the side of that apron. Wyatt is frustrated. I agree with you. You can see his movements are snappier. He seems disgruntled a little bit more than usual. He's angry. He's, he's angry. He hasn't been contested like this before. And look at Yehi still maintaining a body scissors. Yep. And he won't let him get around him. Look, Yehi keeps those. Look, he's, he's blocking those forearm strike attempts. And now Yehi transitions. This is unbelievable. Into a triangle choke. I mean, I'm blown away. Look at Yehi. Constant movement. Not, not on the shoulders. And look at the pressure. This could be it for Wyatt. Very smart on Wyatt, though. Very smart on Wyatt. Th threw that knee into the back. Saw that Yehi was in an uncomfortable position and saw where to take advantage of it. Wyatt, again, just trying to wear him down. Take everything that he possibly can from Yehi because he's done the same to him. He's trying to zap some of that energy. I don't think Wyatt knows where to go. And, that, and, and I don't say that often. Wyatt always knows where to go. But he, he's, he's a little bit flustered right now. And there's a hammer to the back of those shoulders. See, wow. now Wyatt's throwing. Look at that. Greg Yeah, I'm having that fall with you. Like, major major on those shoulders. And he's still getting his hands. Wyatt's riding the shoulder. Oh, that one hit. And look at that. Both yeah, lids squaring off. Slugfest. Oh, head back, head back. Jeremy Wyatt. You don't see that often used unless it's absolutely needed. Yeah, I draping his arm over that top rope. 
be careful in a pure wrestling match that way. Absolutely. Fred Yeah holds on to the top rope, but since that's not a hold, that doesn't count as a rope break. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, Sweat fly off. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable job. German suplex. So explosive. Like you said, perfect analogy, Jordan. Shotgun blasts. Just quick, precise, explosive. Instant power. There's Yehai, Run, just peppering body jabs and strikes. Throws him into the turnbuckle. Yehai, the amount of speed he generates. Just collapsing his body into Jeremy. Look at White. Wyatt may be on Dream Street. Yehai's in firm control in this matchup. You never see Jeremy White down on the bottom ropes. Oh! He's out of breath. Yeah. Wow. Oh, some straight up strike. Yeah. The shot job, Brain Buster 2. No, why it kicks out. Man, unbelievable. Sheer drop, Brain Buster. Explosive power. Almost gets a three count. I'm going to say it now, Jordan. He has fought the best. He has the power with him. I can say it. He's one of the accomplishments. Dominating Jeremy Wyatt right now. Fred Yehai is feeding off the crowd. Knows what he's doing. He's in control of this match. Just follow through on those shots. It's just like chopping through his chest. He's calling it. Yehai could be calling a shot to the Gateway Heritage Champion. Wyatt's got a hand down. Wait, he blocked it. It's right now. And Yehai rolls out. And every time. Oh, chin, chin. The chin down. Chin is down. Chin is down. He got an elbow right to the face. And an elbow. That was on accident. Wyatt spins him around. Wow. Scorpion death drop by Jeremy Wyatt. Right on the back of Yehai's head. Referee Nick Chin still down. That was an accidental blow. That was not intentional. By the Monarch, our friend Nick. As long as you see Yehai, this guy absolutely that's that drop. But that came in the space. Jerry White's got a chair. That shows you the frustration. I mean, we know why it's a be, you know, cagey, a cagey veteran in this sport. No! Wait! Yeah, the Eddie? He just did the Eddie! But he, it's a he reverse the Eddie. Uh, and your chin is up and he, if Jeremy Watts is qualified, this match is over. Ray High should get my heritage champion. Why he's trying to explain his case. Ray High's playing possum death. Ray High, what a what a lesson. He's stalking Wyatt. Oh shit! It's a fatal one, two, no. Wyatt kicks out. Oh, skinny back fist. Oh, and low blow. He waited till Chin looked away. Chin was looking away, putting the chair. Spot lightning spiral. This could be it. One, two. No, Yehai kicks out. It's the crossface, though. He's got him. Is he got? He's got. He's got the hand down there. He's got the arm trapped. He's got the crossface applied purposely to save the ring. But Yehai still has three rope breaks left. Use a rope break, Yehai. He can't get to one. Well, let's put him in the middle of the ring. But that that frame now. Oh Jesus! Might be going for the Alabama Slammer. Wyatt gets the bow too. Yehai, just unorthodox offense is throwing him off. Beautiful Russian leg sweep off the ropes, and now going for that abdominal stretch. Raw octopus. Raw octopus variation. Yehai finding that back door and white with the crew. Hit two! Yehai rolls out, boots him in the midsection, throws him to the outside. Wyatt holding on to that second rope. What's he planning now? Yehai seems to be favoring that left leg. Big 
big right by Freddie A. High. Oh, two of them hard strikes right across the cheek of Jeremy Wyatt. Oh, it's barely holding on. Wyatt is barely holding on. Oh, God. Oh, snaps the rope into his eye. There's that ring awareness on that only Jeremy Wyatt seems to possess. Throws him through on the shoulders. Almost gets a three count. Trying for that coronation. Yeah, I reverse his hand. Hands on Jeremy Wyatt. Three. No. Oh, my God. Just back. Yeehaw has an answer for every Jeremy Wyatt combination. Unreal. At this point, I can't decide if I'm more impressed with Fred Yehai or the fact that Jeremy White is somehow still in this because Fred Yehai has been unstoppable. Tries for the pump thrust kick. Like I said, stomping on that foot, drops down, oh, takes his leg out from underneath him. Just single foot drop kick to the side of the head. Yehai feels this momentum shit. on his side. Oh, oh my god, he just hit on the Canadian destroyer. It's up to King like a stairmaster. Kicks it right in the face. Jesus Christ. Boots him into the, in the side of the head. Wyatt, there we go. A little turning the favor on that one. Wyatt finally speaking. He might have an advantage here. You see that clubbing blow right into the back of the shoulder blades. Once again, locks on. Jack Cross makes him really wrenching back. Really wrenching back. Yay high. Look at the way his neck is crimped. That's where Wyatt's height advantage comes in here. You can create more leverage than where he lives. As he pulls back further, he's just torquing. torquing. Yay high still has all three rope plays. He's still fighting up. He's on his knees somehow. Yay high will not give up. Unbelievable. Yehai's disoriented though, gets a kick oh. in the midsection. What the hell? Oh! He spiked him! And just he like spiked that. him! In the middle just of the like that! One, two, three! And that's it! Unbelievable! It, it's just like that, Jordan. Three seconds is all it takes for the coronation pile driver. And Jeremy Wyatt has to be dominating for 20 minutes. In the blink of an eye, Jeremy Wyatt can change the entire game. 30 seconds ago, I was confident that we were going to see Fred Yehai hold that belt. Fred Yehai did not use any of his road breaks for not once. I don't think Fred Yehai had even been in danger. The closest danger Yehai had was Wyatt holding his own leg over his leg. Unbelievable. What a match. That is one of the best matches I have, I have had the pleasure to call in Journey Pro history. Jeremy White is still your Gateway Heritage Champion. But dang, some red Yehaw.